so hello welcome again uh, with respect to my channel and uh, in this particular video i will be sharing you all of you how to just uh, perform the batch docking using autodoc vena and in that i will be sharing you one pearl script so in that i will be showing you a step by step tutorial how actually you can just perform the batch docking using autodoc vena so with my reference to my PD previous video uh, where uh, i have shared the one video regarding how you can just proceed for the uh, importing the particular protein molecule which is it might be in the particular pdb file format and it should be okay so and then you have to convert into the pdb qt format so for that particular purpose you can refer my video previous video and here uh, i'm going to show you that how exactly uh, the file should be available on your system uh, with one folder and then you can perform the batch docking so here uh, on your system there should be this number of files so you have to just create one folder by giving any name of your interest so i have given a batch docking uh, with respect to that you have you need the files the first file should be in uh, the protein target fine that particular protein target should be in the pdbqt format so what is batch talking over here batch talking is nothing but where you will dock one particular uh, means the one target of the protein should be there and you can dock multiple ligands multiple drugs at a time with a single uh, docking okay so here you can see that for that particular purpose i have we need uh, one kind of command and that i'm going to show you how exactly you can give the command and just perform the batch docking so here um, you can dock the 10 molecules or else the 15 molecules at a time or else if you have 100 200 molecules so you can even dock at, at the single time with the same protein of your interest so this is how uh, the batch docking will move and then for that particular purpose you need the particular one first file which is called as the pdbqt in the uh, protein target and then then we need a ligand file ligand file are nothing but the molecules which you want to dock against the protein target fine and if you want to know how exactly the ligand can be converted into the pdbqt for that particular purpose what you can do is nothing but you can go with my previous uh, video again where i have shared one video regarding the open bible where you can convert the particular uh, list of your particular file might be if you are using the smiles so you can convert into the pdbqt if you have the mall to fall file format you can again convert into the pdbqt if you are, want to dock against uh, using the auto dock vena fine so you can download with respect to your extension that all I have shared in my previous video. Whereas one more thing is there with us, you want to just go directly quickly with an online uh, converter of again open Bible. So this link I will be sharing you in my description. So for example, if you have the smile format with you, okay, this is an input file. So might be you have a mall, okay, you have the different file format, just, just refer which particular file format you are importing from here. You can drag and paste your file or else you can even paste your particular smiles from here. And then you have to mention that which particular file format you need from here as an output. So I have mentioned as a PDBQT okay here you the one more option they have given that you can even generate the coordinates of 2d or 3d so this option is also where you can just get the molecules in this kind of three presentations and then you can one more option they have given that where you can add or delete the hydrogens okay so if you remember that these are the same steps is included in autodoc we now also and then we have the ph over here if you want to just mention a specific ph where you are interested with the particular protein target and again with respect to the disease or the specific disease you are interested so then you can specify that and you simply you can just convert by clicking the option from here once you do that so you will get an output here itself this is definitely for a single molecule but here you can give entire list of 100 molecules 200 molecules at a time okay so then you can directly download from here by this particular 
download file option once it get download so this is exactly the same file where all the ligands are there in the single uh, file which is in the pdbqt format fine so this is the first file and this is a second file which is really needed and then we need one more file which is a config file config file is for the uh, which should be there in the text file it contained a receptor dot pdbqt ligand dot pdbqt it should be exactly the same name which you have given in your folder and then definitely we need this one which is x y then z coordinates so this is really required for the docking study and these are nothing but the pocket region, the conservation, where your drugs should go and bind. So if you don't know how to just get this X, Y, Z, and Z coordinates, again, you can just refer to my video. In that, I have uploaded a video regarding the active site prediction tool, where you can import your particular uh, protein target into the PDB format, and then uh, afterwards, it will give you an output regarding showing you the X, Y, and Z coordinates with the cavity side. So here you can even just generate by using Autodoc Bean also, where you can just file, read the molecule, and then you have to import your PDB file from here. Once you do that, you have to just go in the grid, and the grid, you will get this particular um, different grid centers okay so for example this i have referred from the active site prediction so i have to give my x and then the y fine so and then i will be defining one more coordinate which is the z coordinate okay so this is nothing but my region okay the cavity site where my ligand should supposed to go and bind okay so this is the things what you can do and then you can even save this in by saving this file or else saving the particular grid dimension also okay so this is exactly what you need in the next y and z sizes then the number of modes for docking and the range energy range you have to define so this are this again this file i will be sharing you in my description so this is what is really required so i hope that you get to know that the three most important file what we need for molecular docking fine and then we need one more file or extension uh, with respect to the application of the vena so this you will find uh, in the c drive programs files where your autodoc vena has installed and how to perform the autodoc vena downloading and installation again for that i have uploaded the video so kindly refer for the same okay so that we need over here and then we need one more uh, uh a file which is the vina underscore license so this file again you will get in the uh what you can say as the uh, c drive with respect to the programming files where your autodoc vina is available okay and then we need a, a vina split so vena split is required for splitting your molecules and then give for the uh, docking study uh, one drug with one target and then according to that it will just talk with the multiple target drugs with the single target so this i will be showing showing you how to use this vena dot split and now we required one more file which is called as a vena windows dot pl so pl is nothing but the pearl script so what is this pearl script is is exactly the same thing we required for the docking study so here you can see that it will just give you a ligand file and then it will just dock one one file with the one target and then here you will see that uh, it we need this extension exe which we have shared in the folder then we need a config file again that we have done so then as an output it will give you a log files with respect to the docking output fine so this is the th things we need so by total we need a seven different files uh, with respect to the folder uh, for the docking study okay so after that what you have to do fine after that you have to just go with respect to your uh, for the analysis so that you can just go for the docking study so that thing i will be sharing you in the next video so so that in this particular video you all will understand that which are the file formats we need and how many files should be there in the particular 
holder to perform the molecular docking study in the form of batch using autodock bean. Okay, so in the next video, I will be showing you a step by step uh, tutorial where you will be getting how to just uh, perform the docking study in the form of batch. So stay tuned for the same. Thank you.